Look. What's up mga kakotes? May Kuya Jet. Welcome sa Quadern News where learning is the name of the game. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na ang subscribe, like, and share button para maging updated ka sa aming videos. What's up mga kakote? Another educational vlog na naman po ang ating tatalakayin. And for this educational vlog, we will end our lesson about Impressionism which enters the art of grade 10. So, uh, meron na lang po tayong natitirang isang topic which is the American Impressionist which is William Merritt Chase. So, after that, papahapiyawan lang po natin ng Expressionism. So, sino nga ba si William Merritt Chase? So, William Merritt Chase was an American painter known as an exponent of Impressionism and as a teacher. So, he was born in Indiana in 1849. So, Chase went to New York in 1869. For two years, he was a student at the National Academy of Design. So, but he briefly moved to St. Louis where his family were relocated. So, he was sponsored by contributions from a group of St. Louis art, art patrons. So, through these sponsorships, he went to Munich and attended the Royal Academy na matagal niya ng pinapangarap. So, which had been his dream for years. So, in Munich, he studied with Carl von Pilate, who helped him to perfect a quick, bold brush strokes and taught him the dramatic Munich dark manner. A few years later, Chase was inspired by the lighter tones of the French Impressionism. So, yan na influence na si William Merritt Chase. So, did you know that William Merritt Chase is also responsible for establishing the Chase School, which later became Parsons School of Designs in New York. So, alang mo rin ba na Parsons is a private art and design college in New York City. It is one of the five colleges of the new school. Parsons was the first school in the United States to offer programs in fashion and design, advertising, interior design, and graphic design. Yan, so, he returned to New York back in 1878 to teach at the Art Students League. Yan, so, naging teacher nga siya, nasabi natin. So, a position he held until 1896 when he opened his own art school in the city. Suited to teaching by intellect and personality, he began a long and successful career. Yan, so, nag nagtagumpay si William Merche sa kanyang mga pangarap. So, he traveled abroad continually, looking at new art and old paintings as well as the Japanese prints, eventually incorporating travel into his teaching career by taking his students abroad. So, Chase believed in theatrical self-promotion, in the need for an artist like himself to show that he was different from the rest of society. So, let's look closely how Chase embedded the Impressionist styles in his paintings. So, we have example here at the seaside. Uh, he painted it on the year of 1892, siyempre by William Merritt himself. So, we have another example kung gano'n nga ba kaganda magpainting si Chase. So, ito yung landscape shine ka uh, Long Island nung Pinaint niya noong 1896. So, by Chase himself as well. Yan. So, sabi nga natin, tatapusin natin ang Impressionism. So, kay William Merritt Chase natin tinapos ito. So, let's proceed to our next lesson which is the Expressionism. Or the lesson number 2, the Modern and Contemporary Arts. So, what are the essential questions that we need to answer at the end of this lesson? We must observe how must art be expressive by the term expressionism itself. Ayan. So we need to identify also how do life experiences influence you, your art expressions. So, dito pahapiyaw lang, look closely at the picture. Anin, anin, anin. What does the subject would like you to feel? What is the subject trying to express? So, did you know that is creek, a Norwegian term for scream? Ayan, is the title of the expression is painting and prints in a series by Norwegian artist Edvar Munch. So, it displays an agonized figure against a blood red sky. The landscape in the background is the Oslo Forge viewed from the hill of Ekeberg in Oslo, then Christiania, Norway. Ayan, so ang hihirap ng mga terms nila, ng mga 
mga names sa akin ano kung may na mispronounce man ako let sorry so ito yung the scream no 1893 by Edward Munch so sabi natin na to na yung expressionism so what is expressionism So, expressionism is an artistic style in which an artist attempts to portray not the objective reality but more on subjective emotions and responses that the object, events, or situations arouse him or her. Ayan, so hindi siya kagaya ng impressionism na everyday lifestyle ang pinapakita. No. Ito yung expressionism na ine-express ko ano talaga ang kanilang mga ideas na tumatakbo sa kanilang mga pag-iisip. Ayan. Eh, so, ito yung parang mga supernatural, ganyan. Yung mga uh, words na makikita natin dito. It initially surfaced in the arts of the early 20th century. Ayan. So, na-apply na natin to modern, ngayong modern times. So, the artworks exhibit the use of intense colors, wavy linear brush strokes that suggest agitation. So, and space that depicts of a muddled atmosphere. So, expressionist art shows distortion, exaggeration, primitivism, and fantasy through the vivid, jarring, violent, or dynamic application of formal elements. Ayan, so, ito nga, parang yung expressionism is a world of fantasy. So, expressionism is one of the mainstreams of art in the latter 19th and the 20th century. It qualities of highly subjective, personal, spontaneous, self-expressions are distinctive of a wide range of modern artists and art movements. So, expressionism is different from the impressionism because its goals were not to duplicate the impression suggested by the surrounding world. So, sinabi nga natin kanina na hindi ito yung mga everyday life activities. Rather, to strongly impose the artist's own sensibility to his or her world's representation. Among the different styles that ascended within the expressionist art movement were neo-primitism, fauvism, surrealism, dadaism, and social realism. So, hihimay-himayin po natin ang mga expressionism na nabanggit sa mga ito. So, napahapiyawan na natin at nagkaroon na kayo ng idea regarding expressionism. So, was ang mga kakote. I hope na may natutunan kayo panibago for this. And so, sana sinusubaybayan nyo po ang ating series ng Arts for Grade 10. So, siguro hanggang ano lang tayo for our first quarter. And so, pagkatapos na to, ay in-next naman natin yung another subject. Ayan. So, thank you po sa pakikinig. God bless you all. Stay at home. Always drink water because learning is the name of the game. So